Hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Design Basics. This time I'm going to show you a very easy and nice effect which is putting photos inside of a font and creating this small reflection below the font. For this I use a software called Affinity Photo which I introduced in the last episode. It's very affordable, it's also very professional. I use it for my paying customers so this is a very good software to use for everyday design work. And um, if you like the video, please leave comments, upvote the video, ask questions, give feedback, or even suggest the topic for the next episode. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I will delete what we have so far. So we start by zero, or not, not really by zero, because I already imported the pictures that we need, so it's a little bit quicker. What you want to do is to go File, and then New, and for Type, select Web, for page preset, select 1080p as a size and make sure that this box here is ticked. So it says transparent background and you click on OK. In my case, I click on cancel because the file is already open. I prepared some picture from the internet. Um, I will put the link into the description of this episode so you can look at them yourself or maybe even use them. They are free to use. And um, let's hide them again. The first thing you want to do is to go down here in the menu or in the, in the toolbar and click on rectangle tool and select color black. So you can go here to RGB sliders. It's very important. And then select black. Okay, let's go and click and drag to draw a nice black um, rectangle. Next one, we go to the smooth tool Move tool, click the background so the layer is deselected. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, not yet. Um, let's um, click the rectangle layer again. And over here on the right side, there's a small symbol that says lock unlock. Let's click on lock. So the background is locked now. And now we click on the background. So it's deselected. The layer is deselected. Now we click on the font tool. Again, over here in the toolbar, down here, font tool. And um, if you click and drag, you can set the size. Very nice, very easy. Um, let's select red for the font color. Write the text, A-R-T as art. And you have these handles here. So these are for resizing. And this one is for turning the text around, which we don't want to do right now. Um, if you want to put photos into a font, make sure that the font is has as much, how can I say, space inside of the font as possible. So don't select a th uh, very thin font like this because you couldn't see anything of the picture. It wouldn't be very useful to you. So we use this font. Um, okay, make it very nice and big in the picture. And... The next thing we're going to do is let's click again on the background so the layer is deselected and click again on the rectangle tool and we will set it to a color of maybe blue so we see where the boxes are going. And we're going to draw um, a rectangle over each of the fonts but not overlapping, that's very important. So this is the first one, create it, then click on the name of the layer and say A as the font not say right A as the font. So the next one is R. Don't overlap. This is snapping, as you can see. Don't don't go into the other font. It's very important. Um, let's call this R. And then we make the last one and we call it T. So we are already very far. The next thing uh, we want to do is we take the layer and then we drag it um, how can I say, below the art layer, but you can see this, the blue line is, uh, is uh, kind of jumping around. So this would be putting the box behind the font, but if it's shorter like this, it would mean that I put the layer inside of the font. So the font is acting like a cookie cutter, as you can see here. So let's do this with the other layers too. It's very easy. And... The reason why we do this is because we want to use the font as a cookie cutter for the boxes, but we want also to use the boxes 
as cookie cutters for the pictures so they don't overlap into the other fonts. Um, let's use the fonts. There is one. And um, what you would do right now is you go to File and Place. Like here, Place, placing it on the canvas. So you click on Place, click, select the file, click on OK, and then you can place it anywhere on the canvas and move it around. If I would push this just into the font, you can see that now it is in the font, but it's going into all of the fonts. We don't want that. We want it just on the R. So I push it down here where the short, the blue line is short and now it's just in the R. It's very nice. It's exactly what we need. This is for the T. There we go. Let's move this around. And the next one is for the A. There we go. Very easy, very fast. And we have already created the photo in the font effect. Uh, one thing I want to do now is uh, I don't think that this match up from the brightness and the contrast. So um, let's go. And, and you have these little arrows here. So click on this one and um, take the this picture. Select this one and click down here on adjustments and then on curves. There we go. And then we have these curves here with a histogram on the lower part. So these are the dark colors. These are the light colors. So we push this in a little bit. You can see it's getting darker. We just want it a little bit. Take the bright one, push it in a little bit, and then maybe take this one, uh, maybe like this, just a little bit, just a touch. There we go. Mm, that should be good enough, yes. Okay, then we go here on the T, click the arrow, click the image, click adjustment, click on curves, Lots of clicking today. We push this in a little bit. We push this up a little bit. Yes, maybe, maybe, let's see. Mm, no. Yes. yes, like this. Okay, good enough. Okay, so we are done with the font. Now we want to create a reflection. For this, um, let's click on the arrow here so we close all of this. And let's hide the background. So here is the rectangle background. Let's click here to make it invisible. And now the next and the important part is that the background is transparent. So we don't have the black in the background or the white. Um, and we click on edit and copy flattened, which will compress all the layers into one layer and uh, make a copy. So now we have copied it. Let's go to past. Bam, there we go. Or not. Oh, I, I clicked. I was still inside of the layer. So um, it's it's it put it in here. Let's take this and drag it up here. And you can see this says pixel now. So this is a pixel layer. There we go. Pixel layer. Very nice. Um, the next thing we want to do is select the pixel layer and go on Arrange, which is up here, Arrange, and then Flip vertical, which is down here. Flip vertical, bam, upside down. There we go. Very easy. And then we put it just on the lower part of the text so they touch like this. And now um, we can select both of them and just move them up so we see what we're doing and reactivate the background. There we go. Very nice. Um, so if you click now on the pixel layer, you have here on top of it, it says opacity. So you can go and reduce the opacity to tell you how reflective is the background, which is very nice, but we want to go a second step. So let's leave it at 50% maybe, 50% sounds good. And keep the pixel layer selected, it's very important. And then you click on mask layer. And it puts a mask layer inside of the pixel layer. You see? Bam, right there. So we want to select the mask layer. Very important. Not the pixel layer, just the mask layer. And now we go over here to the toolbar and select the brush. It's down here, the brush. Make it a fairly big size like this. Set the opacity to maybe 50 to 60%. The hardness to zero, so it's very soft on the edges. 
and the color over here, the color has to be black. Okay, and now as you can see, if I move the tool around, it's already getting a little bit dark. Even before, this is kind of a preview. So now um, click and drag to draw, to paint. And we will, the more we paint with the black on it, it gets less visible. You see, very easy effect. There we go. Make it a little bit uneven. Um, it kind of looks, for some reason, looks better if it's uneven, if it's not a, just a straight line. So uh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Good enough. And now we go back to the pixel layer here, pixel layer, and adjust the opacity again. And you can see you can really set what kind of reflection do you want to have. Maybe make it like a dim reflection, maybe like this, 25%, kind of okay. Looks, looks good, maybe a little bit less, maybe like this. That's nice. I think that's nice. Okay. Um, Click on the arrow, maybe select both of them again and move them downwards like this. So we have the text again in the middle or not, not in the middle, like near the middle of the picture. Um, you have these guidelines. If you go to the middle, it shows you a green line to tell you this is the middle of the canvas. So there we go. And this is it. This is the tutorial. Very easy, very fast. Um, it's a font with a picture inside and a little reflection below of it. And it looks good. Uh, you can even change the background color if you want to. Um, so we click on this and then we click on the fill color and you can set it to whatever you want. I think black works best, but as you can see, other colors work nicely too. So you have a choice in that and just, uh, just play around with it and see what you create and if you want if you're on steam it uh, you can even post the pictures below into the comments and i can give you feedback or you can ask me about the pictures about the fonts whatever you use thank you very much and please leave a comment and an upvote to support this series and see you in the next episode thank you for watching goodbye